Hey tubers, me again. So, this got dropped off yesterday. It is Echo HC 2020, Hotel Charlie 2020. So, I'm just starting to, I wasn't going to do a video. You guys are getting sick of me. But, we're going to find out what's going on with this because this is very unusual. It feels like it has compression. It's definitely bucking. But you know what? There's no pop. There's no... You should hear something coming out of the exhaust. Like the pop. So I'm going to take in... He thinks it's a carburetor issue. The, the guy that dropped it off. He thinks it's a carburetor issue. But... And it could be. It still could be. But if it can't breathe out, then it's not going to take anything in. So the first thing, because it's not making any noise, is I want to take this cover off. And we're going to take, first we'll check the spark arrestor. And if that doesn't do it, then we're going to take and remove the, the whole muffler and see if that port's just super, super clogged. So, yeah, I'll be right back. Okay, so it's a minute later. Let's just start zipping these off. Let's see what we come up with. Can't always go by what the the customer says or thinks, I guess. We all know that. Set the camera for you. How about that? Let's do that. Maybe give you a little bit better light. Yeah. Please don't fall. Please don't fall. go I like it when these guys, whoops, uh, actually leave you a little bit of room to work. So there's three bolts, quite a bit of carbon built up on there. Let's see, there's a gasket right here, you guys. Pull that off. Still, quite a bit of carbon on there. I heard the screen drop out. Okay, clogged up a little bit. Not the worst I've ever seen. But I got a funny feeling with that port. Well, look. Let's see if I can put the starter on it and see if that noise actually comes or goes or does nothing different. I 
I can actually hear it now. Okay. So it's definitely part of it. That's definitely part of it. Let's do this. I don't want to take the exhaust totally off. And these things do have a catalytic converter and since there is so much carbon in here guys I will end up taking a torch to this and burning it off if I shine a light I don't even see it normally you can see a little honeycomb part anyways not terrible it's just not a little bit of carbon built up in there. Not probably not enough to make it not run. So here's what I think I'm going to do. In order to, to do the process of elimination. Let me clean this screen. Clean all this carbon and stuff up off of these pieces. Make sure that that's pretty that's pretty well clogged too. Might put a screwdriver down in there to give it some a little bit of breathing room. I'm thinking that that's going to be the whole problem. So let's do this. I'm going to put this cover back on temporarily. Let's see if we can get it to fire up. That's what I'm thinking. Process of elimination, right? A couple more. I just I don't need them all in here, but I don't want to create any problems that don't exist. One more over here by the carburetor. Tell you what though, from where you guys are sitting, this thing is gonna be loud. Okay. Definitely picking up fuel. There's a switch. It's on full choke. Zoom me back out. Let's just see. It runs. Did not do that from before. Let's, I'm going to turn the camera off. I'm going to go and clean up all these parts and then put this back together and then see how well it runs without messing with the carburetor. Just want to make sure that the exhaust is free and clear and we'll pick it up from there. Be right back. Okay, guys, this is, this is how I do it. Everybody does a little bit different. Some guys take, uh, Soap and water, curb spray. I just heat the hell out of this. The carbon turns to dust and then it just drops off. 
Red, red hot. What you're looking for. I'm going to do the same thing to the muffler itself, too. I'm using nap gas. So all the pipe that was filthy from before makes it almost like new again. Totally see through there. Okay. Guys, I'm not going to bore you with the rest of it. We see what I do. I'm just going to take the torch to it and then we're going to put it back together. Yeah, that's pretty good. Next. Oh yeah, that's cleaning it out. It wasn't doing that when I first started, you guys. The flame, the flame was not going out through the front. Just give it a little bit more. Let it cool off. All kinds of little sparking flying out of there. There, that's really clear. So something in there is still burning. It likes it. That oil, unburned oil, grease, whatever else was clogging it. Okay, just going to give it a minute, cool off, and we'll put all these pieces back together. I'll be right back. Okay, it's been a minute. It's about all. It's still really hot. So, clean screen. Ouch. Ouch. Some guys just take those out. There's a mechanic. I don't know. I don't know if I should be the one doing that. Ouch. My dog. What's he upset about? Thanks for all you guys that are watching saying, you can do it. You can do it. Hmm. wonder if this would help. Oh, yeah. Me too. There's three.
Okay. Now we need this on there. I don't know why I'm in such a hurry. I could just go have a cup of coffee and a cigarette. But no. Where's the risk and the reward if you're not going to burn yourself? Oh, yeah. Ouch. Ouch. All right. Time to reset. Okay. Yeah, it's still hot. Let's see if we can get it in here, though. First bolt is started. Wow. Second one is in. Back to the top one. Could it really be that simple? We shall see. We shall see. Two longer ones with the washer still from the gas tank. And there's an awful lot of bolts that hold this shroud on them, guys. We're just getting them started. One for metal, one for plastic. Plastic back there. Plastic up front. Metal. I want you to go down there. And metal. One, two, three, four, plastic, plastic. And just going back with the, what do you call it, the handle for this T27, so I'm not over torquing them. We're breaking plastic, stripping out metal, not really worth it. Okay. So before I had no noise, took everything off and it ran. We burned everything off. Put it back together. Now let's just see if it runs. Ain't that something? Just gonna let it warm up for a second and then we'll. I don't know if it needs a carburetor adjustment or anything, but the majority of the problem is that the exhaust was clogged. And it's not always just a screen. You might have to take and remove the entire uh, muffler, burn that out, and then check the port that's coming out of the end. Okay, maybe we learned a little something here today. I don't know. I know I did. 
Okay, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, appreciate all the comments and stuff. And we'll catch you on the next one. That's it. I'm done. I'm out.